Hi Simmers, in this video I'm going over how to install the PC game Overrides Mod, alright? As I always tell you guys in my videos, especially if you're not new here, is make sure you read through the description. I do not go over every single thing a mod needs, simply because I have a lot of videos going over how to install other mods that you may need. So please read through the description for your own you know, guidance with installation. Okay. All right. If you guys do want access to a, a free Sims 4 pack, head over to the YouTube channel called I Am Simplicity Sim. There, if you sub and then go over to Twitch and follow Simplicity Sim, you will have access to my Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday streams. Once you comment on the stream, I automatically put your name in the raffle. And if your name gets chosen, you get to get a free pack of your choosing. So if you want access to be able to win a free pack, I mean, just check it out. You guys will love it. All right. Now I do that giveaway once a month. So don't feel free. Like, don't feel like you're missing out if you're watching this late. Okay. I, I typically do it once a month. All right. Let's get into this guys. So the PC game override, let's just go through the description. Make sure you read so you know you're installing it correctly. You know what's important and you know if it needs anything. All right. It did let you know that if you have any PC game overrides, you will have to remove them and replace them with her overrides. Okay. So it will conflict with the other ones. So please, please, please pay attention to that. All right. Now you have the PC game override set one, set two, and set three. It lets you know what the sets are right here. So if you want Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, you can get that pack. If you don't want that, you can get Sur Survival Evolved, Dead by Daylight, Road Red Dead Redemption, which is a good one. Okay. League of Legends, Minecraft, Monster Hunt World, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, Yes, you can get this one. It just depends. It just depends. It just depends on what you want. Um, I do believe you can get more than one. I don't see why you wouldn't. So I'm just going to do set one and set two. Uh, I don't see why you wouldn't. I don't think you have to do it either or. So I'm going to do probably set one and set three. Actually, I don't know why I said two. The one and three look more in my thing. So yeah, set one, download it. Set three, download it. Now, if you guys by any chance see in the description where they say you can't add more than one, then don't. Because <laughs> trust me, guys, there's a lot of mod creators. They say one thing one time and then they, later, like, they change it because it wasn't working for people or something. So please just pay attention. All right. Once it downloads, it'll download in the top right corner of your screen. If you have Google Chrome, if you don't, go to the bottom of the screen and it should be somewhere down there. But either way, go to the bottom of the screen and select File Explorer if you guys have Windows. If you have Mac, yours is going to be called Finder. Now, double click the Downloads folder and there's where you will see the files you just downloaded. If you did all three, that's fine too, as long as the mod creator said it's okay. Right click the File Explorer icon and if you guys have Mac, you will just right click down there and select Finder and it'll click new finder window all right now locate that documents folder locate the ea folder once you do that open up the sims 4 folder and open up the mods once you're here you want to go back over to this downloads folder and you'll see a set one set three or set one two three or just the one set you downloaded depending on your choice and preference we're going to right click and select extract or extract all whichever is your computer saying guys if you have mac you can right click and select open and then yours is going to open or you could double click and it'll open for Mac users. If you have Windows, guys, all you do is click extract. That's it. It's either going to say extract or extract all. Just point is get it open. Okay. Okay. Once you extract it, it will show you what's inside. If you have a folder like mine, if you don't, then just double click the folders you guys just opened. Okay. That's all you got to do to check and see what's inside. All right. Now the folders that you downloaded, go ahead and plop those bad boys into the mods folder. So when you double click, this is what you should see. If you do not see the contents that are inside that folder, you did it wrong. Please rewind this video. All right. You can delete these files if you're trying to free up space or for whatever reason you wanted to. It's OK because the mod is already installed, as you can see here. So you don't need to keep zip files. It's OK. If you want to delete them, you can. Now, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them on my YouTube channel or you can visit SimplicitySim.com. There you can get two ebooks. They are readily available for you guys. So if you need extra help with mods, that is there. So you guys, lots of love and lots of light. And until next time.